In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the econ circuit of RC network and also to how to calculate the propagation delay and contamination delay. So here the figure shows the RC equivalent model for N MOS and P MOS. Okay. This is your N MOS and this is your P MOS. Of with K K. So K is represented here with the contacted diffusion on both source and drain. So you have one resistance, you have to write it as 2R divided by K for N MOS you have to write R by K followed by capacitance. Okay, capacitance you have to write KC, KC, KC and for capacitance also you have to write KC, KC, KC. Uh, the PMOS uh, transistor has approximately twice the resistance of the NMOS transistor because uh, the hole has a lower mobility than an electron. So let us uh, discuss a problem. Uh, now I am going to take a, a two input uh, NAND gate. Okay, since uh, this two res transistor are in series, I have to take it as two two. Okay, one plus one is two, so two two. So here, here you have already two. So since it is parallel, you have to keep the same value. Okay, so the equivalent value of the P MOS is so two R divided by K. K value is two, so two two get cancelled. You will get uh, R. So here instead of K C, I am substituting as two uh, C. So okay, so I'm, I have omitted the drain capacitance and um, uh, source capacitance. Okay. And uh, for um, uh, N mass, you have to write it as R divided by K. Okay, R divided by K. And uh, for uh, the drain, you have to write uh, 2C. And uh, the source, you have to write 2C. This is a drain of uh, the second transistor B. And uh, source of the second transistor is uh, connected to ground. Since it is grounded, th this should be omitted. And since it is a uh, uh, since it is a diffusion point, you have to consider only one capacitance. So I have omitted this. Um, I have to omit this capacitance. Okay. So first, I am going to find the uh, what is uh, propagation delays. Propagation delays or worst case delay. So this is a maximum delay. Okay and contamination delay is a best case delay so this is a minimum value okay so first uh, we are going to find the uh, uh, for, for p mass that is a uh, uh, propagation delay and contamination delay for the rise time okay so first you have to consider um, uh, for, uh, for uh, propagation delay means uh, the vdd from vdd um, it can flow either through this path or this path okay so if i consider only one path means there is a propagation delay okay so why i have written um, uh, 6c means uh, i have to add this uh, three capacitance okay so since the three capacitance are in series i sorry in parallel i can add this uh, three values okay so i will get uh, 6c okay and uh, for what is 4HC is the input capacitance, okay. Input capacitance is 2 plus 2 is 4, so I have added a 4HC. Okay, so if I consider only the one path means there is a propagation delay. If I consider two path means there is a contamination delay. So after that you have to apply a Elmo delay constant. That is nothing but R into C, okay. So R into C is this is your propagation uh, delay, rise time propagation delay, rise propagation delay. And this is a for capacitor, uh, contamination delay. Okay, instead of R, you have to use R by two. Okay, next uh, for fault time. That is below the output path. Okay, so uh, so you can see. So for um, contamination delay, you should not consider this two C. Okay, for uh, propagation delay, you have to consider this two C. So if I consider the 2C means uh, I will get um, what I will get uh, the path is from um, from in this way okay I have to call calculate from this way this is your path okay so R by 2 into 
टू सी आर बै टू इंटू टू सी फर् आर बै टू इंटू टू सी फर् दिस् वन पपुलेशन आर बै टू इंटू टू सी प्लस यू हव आड दिस टू वैल्यू सो यू वि गेट आर आर इंटू सिक्स सी प्लस फोर हेच सी सो यू वि गेट सेवन प्लस फोर हेच आर सी सो इफ वाट टू फैंड द कंटामेशन डिले यू शुड नाट यू शुड ओमिट दिस कैपासी ओके सो इफ ओमिट दिस कैपासी ई विल गेट आर ओके सो आर इंटू सिक्स सी प्लस फोर हेच सी ओके सो यू विल गेट सो इफ ई टेक् द्री एस कामन ई विल गेट टू प्लस फोर बै थ्री 